Tea, it's Brett Friedman from Vanny Mark Cosmetics, and I'm with Danielle Fischel Hi. from The Dish. Yes. And how much do we love The Dish, and how much do we love you oh, on The Dish? Oh, thank you. I have a lot of fun doing it, so I hope you love it. Oh my gosh, so beautiful and funny. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great combo. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about eyebrows. Yes, eyebrows are a big one. Now you have lots of brows. I do. I have thick eyebrows, which I like, and I, and I do have a tendency to like to pluck. So I have had too thin of eyebrows in the past because I just get a little carried away. Like I'm in the process of growing in this little area right here too. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll talk about there. let's okay. talk about that. Okay. okay. But first, you're always around makeup artists. Yes. You're not you're not letting them jump in there and do your no. thing. No. Um, most of the time, makeup artists just kind of let you do your own thing. Plus, I like real a really natural look, so mm -hmm. I don't like an overly made up face. So I tend to let makeup art ask makeup artists to just go really natural with me. Just kind of make you a little more. Visible. Yeah, just the prettier version of me. Exactly. <laughs> well, when you look like that, it's not hard. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's get close, and we're going to talk a little bit about, about Danielle's brow. Wow. So here's one that I did, mm -hmm. and, you know, what we're talking about is, you know, I was talking to Danielle about a little bit of, let me get a pointer, um, you know, just a little bit of the spermy. <laughs> <laughs> For lack of better term. It's a little ball and a string, a mm -hmm. little bit. So Danielle says she's growing this in. Yes. Which is... Painful. Yeah, it's hard process. to do because you get the one that grows in like right here, and you're like, I don't want to pluck you, but I need a family to grow around. Yeah, you. exactly, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't like show it up. And then this is the one that I've sort of repaired a little with, um, you know, a little bit of fill in just in this area because what you want is that nice swoop and out, right. not like this and this. Right. Okay. So another thing about Danielle's brow, she has a lot of what I call like this cobwebby effect up here. So this is a lot of women are like, oh my gosh, should I be plucking above? I never knew that. Mm -hmm. You should. You know, it's I didn't like, know that actually. Yeah. It's weird. They're, they're small hairs, but mm -hmm. they're not really close to each other enough right. to like make, so they look kind of out, out of the realm. Okay. So when you take them away, it's really clear. Hmm. So then. Hi, cobwebbies. So Danielle, I think I'm going to take up in this section just mm -hmm. a, a few hairs. Okay. I feel like it's making you look a little stern. I okay. That will lift up a little bit. Kind of like a brow tweeze Botox. Perfect. Definitely don't want to like. look stern. No, because you're a fabulous, funny, beautiful girl, not mm -hmm. a stern girl. Let's see. Okay, so I'm done with the left brow, mm. Danielle's fabulous left brow. How did it feel? It felt great. And now it's such a dramatic difference, too. It's, it's, I love it. It's good. I kind of okay. elevated them a little bit. Yep. And this is a good fill-in tip is use a, a shade lighter than your hairs. Now, Danielle has, you know, toned her skin. She's not fair. But I'm using a Blondie pencil from my line, Vanity Mark, <laughs> um, so that it's a shade lighter than the hair. So it just looks like a shadow of definition. You don't want, we could do a milk choco on you, mm -hmm. but I think it would compete with the actual hairs. Right, then it looks it drawn would, on. Exactly, mm -hmm. and you're talking about you want to look the most natural, natural as yeah. possible. So you might have to do a couple more strokes but it'll always look golden and more subtle. It's good to know. Good to know. Right. And another tip within a tip is, since you're a woman that handles her own brows mm -hmm. and takes care of her own glamour and beauty, if you're on the airplane, that's a great place to tweeze your eyebrows. I can't believe that. I mean, those bathrooms don't really seem like they're that convenient for anything. But I like what you said about <laughs> the proximity of being that close to the mirror and the, you're right under the light and you can actually see everything. Exactly. That's the thing. Is a lot of times you are close. You know, there's great light, yeah. but you're far from the mirror. But in the you know in the airplanes, you're just like right there. Nice. So don't do okay. it when there's turbulence. Though. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. Good point. <laughs> Well, thank you for doing this. Thank you so much. I can't wait to go uh, show off my new brows. Oh, my gosh. And so for anyone that wants to tune into the dish, yes. when's it on? It is on Saturday nights at 10 p.m. on the Style Network. We thank love that. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much Enjoy for having pretty. me. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. Thank you for doing it. Yeah. Enjoy pretty. Bye.